I tried 20 browsers, and these are the best. The factors are the RAM consuming must be good, and it must be private. Blocks tracking ads and invisible trackers and protect us from fingerprint. Let's see Chrome, for example. So we have three different tabs opened here. All right, let's see. So Chrome is using 700 megabytes of the RAM. Not very bad. This website tells you if your browser is private or not, okay? So we can see from here that Chrome isn't private at all. Now let's see Firefox. A YouTube video and three tabs are opened. And look at this. Firefox is consuming more than one gigabyte. That's insane. But it blocks tracking ads and invisible trackers, but still has a nearly unique fingerprint. It's same thing with unique fingerprint. Edge. We all know it is really a big RAM consumer, and I don't recommend it to anyone. For that, I am not going to test it. But I just want to know if it's secure or not. Yeah, just as I expected. No. No. And it has a unique fingerprint. Waterfox. It's the opposite of Firefox, but their interfaces are just the same. They say it's good, so let's see. So, a YouTube video is being played, and three tabs are opened. And you can see here, the RAM using is about 900 megabytes. And look at the surprising thing, but it has a nearly unique fingerprint. A vast, I'm so excited for it, because they say it's made specifically for privacy. A YouTube video is being played, and three tabs are opened. Okay, the RAM using is about 700 megabytes which is good. Ooh, look at this. It blocks tracking ads, but it doesn't block the invisible trackers, and it has a unique fingerprint. How could that be a private browser? And the last one is Brave. It has a good reputation, same process, same tabs opened, and the RAM using is average just like the others. But what about the privacy? Ooh, it blocks tracking ads and also invisible trackers. And more importantly, it protects you from fingerprinting. I tried other browsers like Komodo Dragon, Opera, DuckDuckGo, Florp, and others, but I didn't record myself, but they are not private. So yeah, there's Brave and Waterfox, and you have the choice.